Hello and welcome to the RPG Academy podcast Twitch channel and YouTube channel. My name is Michael and I am back for session two of my Dragon Warrior 2 playthrough. Um, I'm actually just getting started a little early today. I'm still working through the scheduling and everything with my kids and them doing online classes and this is sort of a test to see if I'll be able to stream while they're in school, technically, because um, if it works, it actually would be really good for me uh, so that like while they're finishing up their last hour of class, I can do this. And then when they're done, I'm done and I can go for their work and you know, double check everything and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, so far, the stream seems to be holding well. No issue with drop frames or anything. Uh, don't hear my kids yelling that they need help. So that's also good. Uh, so let's get into it. So the uh, again the plan for today is to continue our adventure, maybe level up at least once, maybe twice, and uh, start to explore. That's what I'm mostly interested in today is to kind of just explore around a little bit and um, I know there's a town left wind up to the left. So we're going to uh, see if we can find that. And I'm actually might do some running today too, just to try to get um, further in the exploration and uh, not worry as, as much about leveling in gold. Because right now I don't, I'm sure eventually I'll need gold to buy stuff. But right now, okay, so that's, so maybe I can one shot the slug. Nope. Oh, no, actually, okay, I was. I, I missed that I had already attacked. And maybe the slimes will break and run away like they did a minute ago. I won't actually have to fight all of them. So if I did the math right, that means I should need uh, like 19 experience now to go up a level. Um, as always, I'd like to take a moment to remind anyone who is watching now or in the future that I don't profess any skill or insight into these any of these games. These are just games I played as a kid and I really liked them. And I kind of want to relive my childhood. I just noticed that my banner is not exactly centered there. Or maybe it's actually a little too small. So let's make that a little bigger. There we go. And then lock it into place. Oop, there we go. Uh, so you're just basically watching me flounder through these games. Uh, a few people seem to enjoy that, so I'll plan on continuing for a while. Ooh, three big slugs. But I just don't want anyone sticking around thinking, oh, I'm going to teach you something about this game. No. Um, I mentioned yesterday, this is a game I've played before, and this is a game I've beaten before, but it was, you know, literally 30-some years ago. When, uh, when it first came out on the original Nintendo. I don't think I have revisited this one since. Uh, so there's a few things that I might kind of remember from time to time, but uh, for the most part, I'm going into this ignorant. And I'm going to try, for the most part, to keep it that way. Much like I did on the first one, I'm not planning on you know Googling anything, looking at maps uh, or anything like that. Uh, I did, because I mentioned this yesterday, I did go to see like what the level progression was just to get an idea. Um, and it, at least what I found quickly was that uh, level 50 is the cap for this game. So that's, you know, 20 more than um, where I was on the first Dragon Warrior when I beat it. Uh, and you do get up to two companions. I, I think you pretty much have to get both of them. I don't know for sure, but I think so. Let me 
go ahead and use one of these medical herbs. Uh, and the other thing I did look up just briefly was this lottery ticket thing. Um, apparently I did not do it right though. Well, hello Foxblade. Thanks for hanging out. I, I got started a little early today, so I don't know if that's going to throw a couple people off. Uh, I'm going to test out trying to do this earlier and do it at the same time that my kids are finishing their last uh, online lesson. So far the stream seems to be holding. Uh, so if that works out, this would be actually really good for me to be able to multitask, do this at the same time, and then you know, basically line up my free time. Uh, so I just leveled, I'm up to level five. Uh, and mostly I'm just kind of doing some exploring today. That's kind of the plan to see if I can find anything of interest. There's supposed to be a town called Leftwind somewhere up here to the left. So I'm hoping I'll run into that today. Maybe figure out uh, how much gold I need for my next, you know, upgraded equipment and start working towards that. Um, I also, I, this is one of the things that's going to be anti-Michael because I want to kind of take things slow and, you know, not worry too much about rushing forward. But I really want to get both of my companions early so that um, they will be able to level with me as much as possible. Uh, so I do kind of want to find them quickly. Uh, yes, it looks like you can fight up to three enemies uh, at a time. Okay, so there is a bridge up here. Trying to map a little bit as I go. Doing more of a, so it's not a detailed map. I can't think of the word right now. Uh, so it's just like, you know, B for bridges and a couple lines for mountains, just enough like to reference things, but it doesn't look like a map or anything like, oh, I found a treasure chest. Yay. It would be very handy when I have those companions too for these, you know, three on one fights. Uh, welcome, Sumki. Nice to have you back uh, today as well. Again, I'm started a little earlier than usual, so hopefully I didn't throw too many people off. Um, so the countdown show is tomorrow, and it's going to start at 9 p.m. Eastern, and we'll run. Oh, here's a castle. Basically, it'll run until the Kickstarter ends, and then, uh, you know, depending on how many people are on or how many people are even with me, it might go a little later than that, but probably not much. So there is a castle. Go ahead and use uh, another medical herb just to make sure I don't die right before I walk into the castle. Wing of the Wyvern, and I think that's the thing that brings me back from the last game. Fairy Water, I think, is what keeps me from being attacked by certain enemies. So Moonbrook is to the south. And I'm pretty sure that's one of the places I need to go. Well, that's not very nice attitude to have. The world's effed, so what does it matter? Kind of hard to argue with it right now, but uh, I'll generally try to stay more positive than that. Right, come on, dude, come talk to me. 
Hello, 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 hello. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. And come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, there we go. There we go. Oh, nope, wrong way. Come on, down, 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 down. Nope, not left. Down, now right, right, all right. Oh! <sighs> That's a secret. Seriously, okay. All righty. Uh, sure, I'm a friend. Okay, so he's looking for the spring of bravery, but he's slow. All right, this is Canuck Castle. All right, so there's a cave far to the east where the Spring of Bravery. So that's probably where that guy's headed. Okay, so first companion is to the east. And I'm pretty sure I remember Moonbrook, I think is the other, is like the princess. So, but I think she comes later. Sure, okay, I'll take a nap. Oh. All right, so I need 100 experience. Still don't have anything to buy, but I need to travel far to the east. A ghost mouse. Interesting. Isn't that the other half of Gnarls Barkley? Danger Mouse, gotcha. So I'm gonna try to head east this way and see what happens. Dead Maw Five. I don't. I don't know what that is. Definitely need armor. I think armor would be the first thing to buy if I get a chance even more of our weapons. Because just to get this three versus one, they're getting so many attacks that I need to be able to absorb more of that, take less damage, or maybe even get some free like you know misses in there to help me survive and thrive. Okay, so now there's a bridge this way. Uh, correct. So basically tomorrow is sort of like a detention, but it, you know, it's not going to be, it's taking the place of detention. So yes. 
Uh, we do already have a guest lined up for, I believe, the next one. So that, that one should be on without any uh, delay as long as, you know, nothing happens in the middle. And uh, I've started to reach out outside of the faculty to try to get some regular co-hosts or not get co-hosts. Um, so I don't have to always rely on uh, the faculty, though. I like the faculty to participate, of course. Uh, doesn't always work out. Okay, so east, 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 east. Uh, here's a cave. Okay. Maybe this is the cave with the spring of bravery in it. All right, so I'm gonna switch to uh, my graph paper here. I'm hoping this isn't a, a dungeon that's gonna require a whole lot of mapping, but it already looks like there's a... a way that you can go and you can't see, so it's possible. Let's see if I can run. Ah, I was afraid of that. I keep wanting to say moose. I don't know why, I know that's wild mouse, but there's just something about moose that makes me a little bit more scared, I guess. You know, these wild mouse, mices, muses, are tearing me up. So I was mentioning, I did Google a little bit about the lottery tickets that I got, um, but I apparently you can only use them in certain places, and I don't know where that is yet, but you, uh, I guess you can get prizes, gold, that kind of thing. Um, okay. Da, da, da. Try to run again? Oh, I got away, good. Huh, okay. So let's start by going up. I have a feeling I'm gonna die. All right, so I'm going to wait, which I'm probably going to regret. Ooh, one big cobra, and I don't, actually I did buy a, uh, an antidote. Ooh. Ah, oh, there we go. And now I'll use it, because I knew I only had one of these left, and I kind of want to maximize what it does for me. Can I run? Can I run? Can I run? Oh, here's a person and a treasure chest. Okay. Yes. I think he's going to Middenhall Castle. Okay. Uh, is that where I started from? All right, I got poisoned. All right, so I got an extra medical herb, that's great. So I gotta find Middenhall Castle, and I don't know if that's where I started from or not.
Okay, I didn't get poisoned, so that's good. Oh, I leveled again. Good, okay. Excellent, excellent. Okay. I'm going to try to run. Nice. Okay. So, oh, come on. All right, I'll attack the one wild moose. Okay, so I went up first, so I'm going to do left as I go. Hmm. Yes. I talked to the guy, but I didn't actually... That is not good. And maybe I need to go back there, but uh, not right now. All right, I'm going to try to run again. I'm guessing if I parry, I guess to get like a defensive boost. Okay. Afraid of that. Okay. Oh, haha, dodged. And then I wasn't hurt. I wasn't hurt. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Pardon me. Yeah, you would think, unless it's like those racing slugs from Never Ending Story, it shouldn't be that hard to get away from. Okay. Oh, treasure chest. Oh, and I got another medical herb. Ha ha, sneak attack. Oh. Okay, another treasure chest. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I'll get something nice. Got a plus four Vorpal Blade. I'm sure, I'm sure there's one of those in this game, right? Speaking of which, though, that's a terrible segue. Uh, tonight we are doing session zero for that new 13th Age campaign that we are going to be streaming. Uh, very, very excited about that. There's been some change in player, a couple people that wanted to do it just aren't, they don't have the time commitment. So we are uh, down to three players who are committed. And as much as I do hate having people back out or not even back out, but just not be able to do it, uh, even though they want to, I kind of like three players. It's kind of my sweet spot, particularly for um, 
a streamed game. So I am uh, pretty stoked. I I have a few like big ideas for the campaign, a couple set piece encounters early on. But for the most part, I'm trying to leave a lot of blank spaces because I really want this to be a character-driven campaign. So we're going to finalize their characters tonight. And uh, we're, the plan is to play a non-canon game. Uh, probably, we might record it like for release like way later or something. But it's, uh, it's a chance for them to play around with the rules because not everybody's familiar with 13th Age. And it's been a very long time since I've played it. And then also give them a chance to make any tweaks to their character after they've played a session or two. Uh, you know, do they maybe not like the class they chose that doesn't play the way they thought or they want to change their one unique thing or skills or whatever the case may be. Um, so before we actually go live with the streaming, we're going to do a, a non-canon one-shot, which uh, I'm also looking forward to that because I just like running 13th Age. I think it's a fun system. So I think this is the last way I've not gone yet. All right, another medical herb. And I know it's not herb. I know it's herb, but I like to say herb. So just in case anyone's watching that doesn't know. I say a lot of words wrong, so I'm not going to pretend like I don't. But some of them I say wrong on purpose. The question is, how will you know? Just to some I don't. Now, hopefully I don't get poisoned. Okay. Herbert Moose, exactly. So in truth, where this comes from, because I'm old, is the show Night Court. I don't know if, uh, if any of you are familiar with Night Court. But it was a show on, I think, in the 80s that was really funny. I liked it a lot. Um, it's probably a little bit older than I probably should be watching it, but my, my mom watched it. I watched it with her, and I just really thought it was funny. And uh, there's one of the episodes, and I don't know why I remember that, but uh, there was a gentleman named Herb who was cremated, and Dan Fielding made tea out of it thinking it was tea, and there was a whole running gag about it being herbal tea or herbal tea. And basically since then, I've always called herbal tea herbal tea. Yeah, uh, Bull really made that show. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I actually don't know if it would hold up or not. Uh, it might be interesting to revisit that at some point. But I really liked that show as a, as a kid. Okay. Probably shouldn't be going through here, but I'm going to try. Night Court is also one of those shows... Um, that even as a kid, I kind of like understood sh how shows work. Because if you do remember that show, if you ever go back and watch the very first episode, Dan Fielding, who's the uh, prosecutor, who's also kind of a sex maniac, uh, was not a sex maniac in the first episode. He was like a very highbrow intellect. And uh, there's a uh, there's a like a line of dialogue where he talks about how he hopes that the new judge likes to play chess because you know he wants to play chess with them and i guess that character just didn't work and from the second episode on i'm pretty sure it's the second episode but i know obviously you know as the show went on they changed the characterization drastically and made him much more of like comic relief uh rather than straight man and i just remember thinking that's so weird that in that first episode he acted this way and now he acts the other way and I was like, oh, that's right. This is a character on a show. And they changed the way they were written because they weren't working. This has been Reflecting on Night Court with Michael. 
Has anybody been watching Utopia on uh, Amazon Prime? It's a limited series. Apparently it's based off of a British show by the same name. Um, okay, so is this Middenhall Castle? I don't remember. Does Will this guy tell me? Yes, it is Middenhall Castle. Okay, so that guy should be here somewhere. Is he here? Nope. Maybe he didn't make it here. Maybe I gotta find him on the way. I was really hoping he would just be here. So Utopia is, it's kind of weird. There's a couple things about it that I really like. And there's some others that's, I mean, it is, it is shockingly bleak and just violent, which I don't necessarily have a problem with, but it's just sometimes it is hard to watch, you know, in the world, in the state that it is, you kind of want, you know, more aspirational watching, I guess, maybe. Uh, but I'm enjoying it. I'm interested in the story, but there are some times where I'm just like, oh, do we really, do we really need that? But I would, I guess all in all, I would say, uh, I would recommend it. Okay. So they said he's coming to Middenhall Castle. This is Middenhall Castle, but he's not here. So. Did I get back first? Or is there somewhere in this castle that I can't find? Yeah, I think he is the the wizard. Oh, okay. Prince of Kenya was here, but now. Wait. So this is Middenhall Castle, but now he's off to Middenhall? All right, I'm... I'm confused. Um, there's this guy who I talked to before. He just watches over this portal. Hmm. That's the guy who like heals you or detoxifies you or whatever. Hmm. Okay, well, we've leveled twice, got to the Spring of Bravery, and we're now on the trail of this Prince Gwyn, I think, Gwaylin, something like that. Um, so, because we'll, I actually don't want to die right now, uh, I've got enough gold that maybe if I get to a town I can buy something. And just like before, when you die, you lose half your gold, which isn't the end of the world. Um, but I don't know where to find this guy. So maybe I'm just being silly here and not understanding something. They said he was off to Middenhall. But that's Middenhall Castle. So is there a Middenhall town nearby? That doesn't make, seem, make a lot of sense. 
I'm just trying to look quickly to see if there's any places nearby. If not, then I'm going to go back to the castle and uh, save it. All right, Foxblade, thanks. I'll be wrapping up here in just a couple minutes. Uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow for this, and then hopefully I'll see you tomorrow night for the uh, Kickstarter countdown show. And if not, I'll see you on Discord, uh, hopefully in some games soon. Oh. Can I run? Nope. Dag nabbit. Wild moose. Okay, that key is in the cave of the lake west of Canox Halls. Okay. But I need a friend. Okay. So apparently I need that guy first. Then I need to go back to Canic Castle. And then go west. I thought I had a medical herb, but I don't. All right, so apparently I'm going to die, and that'll take me back to the castle, and that'll be it. It's probably going to happen right now. Oh. Excuse me. <clears throat> So 102. So that'll be the plan for tomorrow. He's off to Middenhall looking for the, I believe. So I got to figure out where Middenhall is. All right. But that'll do it for the day. Thank you, Foxblade. Thank you, Sumkey. Thank you for anyone else who was watching but didn't feel like chatting. Uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Probably around the same time. I'm going to try to do like 12.30, 12.30 to start for the next few days, see if that continues to work uh, with my schedule. But uh, hopefully I'll see you then. Thanks.